is CWN. This is your host, Benjamin Towles, and today we are talking about um, hyperbole, perhaps, hyperbole at best, uh, something illegal, maybe at worst. Let's look at Don Lemon. Do you know who Don Lemon is? Don Lemon is kind of a POS, you know, he's kind of a piece of shit. Now, why do I say that? Why? Because he says some things that are pretty radical. What did he say today, though? What did he say? Because, you know, you might have heard him say dumb things in the past. And he does say lots of cringy things. But today, he might have maybe, I don't know, maybe crossed a line. But who knows? Because the lines that people are allowed to cross, it just seems like people just get away with anything these days. So, will there be accountability? Also, let's digress. Let's just, I mean, let's not digress. Let's jump right in. Let's see what we have to say, Don. Take it away, Don. And I'll link to this video. It was on CNN, Clown News Network, Patriotic Parade, 21 subscribers. 21. 21. That's major. <laughs> Let's check it out. <laughs> no matter what happens, everybody sticks We're going to have team. to blow up the entire system. And We're going to have to blow up the entire system. Don, what are you talking about? Now, metaphor, nuance, of course, maybe he's talking about, you know, we're going to have to dismantle the entire system and redo it perhaps that's what he meant perhaps but the the hyperbole and the extreme tone is a bad wow whoa there buddy now watch the reaction no matter what happens everybody sticks we're to gonna have team. to blow up the entire system and you know what we're gonna have to do no, i don't know you know that. what we're gonna yes yeah. what you have to do <laughs> I, I don't know about that I, I don't know about that no yeah we got to we're gonna have to <laughs> this exchange is beautiful here we have, and it's like, I don't, unfortunately, I don't know who this guy is. And I doubt that he is right wing. It's just, it, life likes to set it up in these synchronistic ways where the, the universe talks to you through the matrix. And here we have somebody on the left saying something extremely radical. Somebody on the right saying something a bit more reasonable. Maybe there's somebody, a third person over here that's like the right. And then this person just being the centrist, the moderate. Regardless, just watch this exchange in its entirety. No matter what happens, everybody sticks to the We're going to have team. to blow up the entire system. And you know what we're going to have to do? No, I don't know about You know that. what we're going to... Yes, yeah. what you're going to have to do? You just got to vote. Honestly, from what your closing argument is? You just got to vote. Yeah, that's very reasonable. Yeah, Don. We don't have to blow the whole system up. I remember that one time... When we're, all right, let's fucking find it. Before we do that, though, Don. Delete your fucking attitude. Your attitude is very pessimistic. Let's find this clip. It's fine. The BLM says we got to burn it down. Uh, of course, it's going to be hard to find this clip. Uh, I got to go find this clip first. Of course. Oh, no, here we go. Right here. If this country doesn't give us what we want, then we will burn down this system and replace it. All right, and I could be speaking phys phys uh, figuratively. Okay. I could be speaking literally. It's a matter of interpretation. <laughs> okay, so now take that into context of what Don Lemon said. Maybe he's he could be speaking figuratively. He could be speaking literally. It's a matter of interpretation. No matter what happens, everybody sticks. We're going to have team. to blow up the entire system. And you know what we're going to have to do? No, I don't know about you know that. what we're going to Yes, yeah. what you're going to have to do? You just got to Honestly, from what your closing argument is, you're going to have to This guy? Yo, you just have to vote. People get involved in your local politics. How lazy are you? You're like a bunch of terrorists. Wait, no, you're not like that. You're what's the other not not a metaphor but a simile? What's the one where it's like you just are that? You are terrorists. <laughs> If this country doesn't give us what we want, then we will burn down this system and replace it, all right? And I could be speaking phys phys uh, figuratively. Okay. I could be speaking literally. It's a matter of interpretation. Well, judging on the actions of BLM over the last five plus months, it seems like they physically, like literally meant it, not figuratively. Seems like they actually wanted to burn the system down. So here's the rest of the exchange. I have to get rid of the Electoral College because the people... I don't see it. Uh, you're going to have to get rid of the Electoral College. Got to Honestly, from what your closing argument is, you're going to have to get rid of the Electoral College because the people... I don't see it. Uh, because the, the minority in this country decides who the judges are and they decide who the president is. is but you that, need a is constitutional amendment to do that. And if Democrats, if Joe Biden wins, 
Democrats can stack the courts and they can do that amendment and they can get it passed. Well, you that's need two-thirds vote danger. in the Congress and three-quarters of the state legislature. They may be able to do that. Maybe. 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 Don. The argument is you're going to have to... Don. No matter what happens, everybody sticks to the We're going to have team. to blow up the entire system. Don over here trying to act like a real Don, you know what I'm saying? Like Don Lemon. Go, go talk to Don Lemon and see if he can tell you whether or not he can make you a deal that you can't refuse. I mean, <laughs> BLM over here making an offer that we can't refuse. If this country doesn't give us what we want, then we will burn down this system and replace it. Can't refuse that. So that's a pretty good offer you've put on the table there. It's a good thing, though, that Donald Trump is the master of the art of the deal. And I don't think uh, he's going to fall for this. <laughs> Here you go. Like, here it is. If you want um, the Electoral College to be disrupted, if you want to stack the courts with more judges, realizing, you know, just because you're, you're playing this weird petty power game, it's a power curve now. The meta is getting so ridiculous. It's not about... I don't know, fair and balanced, checks and balances. No, it's about my side is right and my side will win at all costs. Because if my side loses, it is the worst thing that could ever happen. Uh, re it, come on, chill the fuck out, Don. Chill the fuck out, BLM guy, whoever the fuck this guy is. Chill the fuck out, people. It's not the end of the world, <laughs> but based on some of the DMs I receive with all these quotes from Revelations, it literally is the end of the world. I don't know, man. Uh, Project Blue Beam, there's nanobots in the, in the vaccines caused activated 5G. Ah, come on. If you spend so much time coming up with ideas of how the whole world is fucked, what time does that leave for you? To think of ideas and appreciate how beautiful life is. Life comes at you fast. If you don't stop every now and then to smell the roses, you might miss it. Also, didn't uh, Ma didn't Matthew Broderick like kill two people in a car accident, and then they just like erase that from memory? Not to bring up some old wounds or anything, but I feel like BLM is master of bringing up old wounds. Like, bro, like, let it go. We got to move forward. Stop overcorrecting historical racism with modern racism. You want to aim for this spot, right? You want that Goldilocks amount of racism, which is none. <laughs> it's funny how that works. So, I digress. I'll link to both these videos. You can watch them yourself and decide for yourself. You can do it you, wherever, man. The world's crazy. <laughs> If you want to spend all that time thinking about how shit fucked your life is, you, dude, the way I see it is the creator of the universe is so generous. He'll let you have whatever you want, anything you want. If you want to think about how fucked you are, how shitty the world is, how everybody mistreats you, how every problem you've ever had has been outside of your control, so there's nothing you can do about it, God or the creator, whoever is so generous, he will, he will grant you that. He'll grant you that wish. And if you want, if you want, I'm not, I mean, I'm not forcing anybody. It is also possible to focus on how awesome life is, how amazing it is that we're even alive, that you're, you're looking at a screen made of glass that has a portal into my bedroom so you can hear me, except it's not just my bedroom. You're time traveling into the past when I recorded this and yet you're complaining about some shit that that doesn't what what come on man think about it we are living the dream right now it's never been better to be alive than right now America has never been more opportunistic for more people we are in the second renaissance already I've talked about the paradigm shifting we're already there the fact that anyone like me, a peasant, can just make a YouTube and I can just start talking my shit and anyone, you can talk about anything you want, it doesn't have to be this. 
You can just make a YouTube. There's a guy on YouTube right now who just goes, finds like drains on the street when it's raining and he unclogs them and creates whirlpools. And he has thousands of subscribers. He's making bank off that. Dude, like in the old system, in the old paradigm, nobody, you couldn't do that. You could just go put yourself out there like that. Now, of course, there is, you know, it's not perfect. There are, you know, hoops and bullshit that you have to deal with and whatnot. There's certain things you can't address, or talk, can't talk about. But if it, if it was perfect, it would be a little bit boring, right? If it was perfect, there would be nothing. We need that carrot on the stick. The carrot on the end of the stick is the imperfection of society. And as long as that carrot exists, I'm going to keep pushing to try to make it. I'm, I'm joining in the world peace conspiracy. And that's not through globalization. I feel, I feel like it's through global nationalism. Through everybody can respect your own cultures. You know, keep your culture, whatever you want it. Don't let it dilute into some nonsense, degenerate, whatever the fuck, anything goes. There's freedoms. There's responsibilities. You need both. If you only scream down one path, you get to crazy town. If you only scream down the other, you get to 1984. A brave new world. I'm just throwing out keywords now. <laughs> Did I lose you yet? So don't don't be pessimistic. I think is the is the message I'm trying to say. You have a lot of opportunity, and you are in the driver's seat. If you're watching this video like right now, like if you're listening to what I'm saying. Understand that you you, ha you are in a lucid dream. And what is your lucidity? I just heard this quote. It's fucking beautiful. What is your lucidity? It is the consciousness that is listening to these words right now. So recognize, hold that thought. Realize that you are lucid. You're aware. You're awake. You have opportunities. You're not in some crazy place where you can't even hear this. You're a part of it. You're a part of the modern world. So don't blow it all up because the system, don't blow up the entire system. The entire system is, is not corrupt. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. If you never knew what that phrase meant, this is it. Like the bathwater is bad and dirty, so we need to get rid of it. We got to drain the swamp. But don't get rid of Shrek's house at the same time. There's parties that happen at Shrek's house. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. The baby's the best part. Of the whole, <laughs> this, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it made sense, but no matter what happens, everybody sticks. We're with gonna have team. to blow up the entire system. Okay, Don. So I, I digress. I, I'll wrap this up. That's the that's the end of this little segment. If you support this type of content, if you like this channel, if you like what, I, what we're doing over here at Clown World News, you can check out the description. There's lots of ways you can support me. Much love to DBZ to Angela. To L Hayes, to West, to all the boys in the Patreon, to all the all the women in the Patreon, all the moms who send me messages talking about how much they appreciate the support of Call Your Mother movement. I feel like we need to talk to our moms more. And just everybody in general, the R RC Patriot, all the Kentucky boys, everybody else, Dion Jones. I mean I could I'm gonna write a song about a, a ballad, if you will, for all of those all the supporters. So yeah, it's not hopeless. Take everything you hear with a grain of salt. Stay vigilant. Exercise. Eat good. Be a good person. Uh, call your mom. Peace.